hi and welcome to another episode of Wanderlust SLP and we are in Austria in Innsbruck with Sabina. Hi Sabina. Hi. <laughs> and nice to meet you. Thank you for doing the video with me. Pleasure. So you are a speed service, right? Yes. You are from Austria? Yes. Okay, and uh, how long have you been a speech therapist? Since 2012, so I started in 2008 mm -hmm. with the studies, yeah, so it's three years. Three, yeah. Yes, and I finished 2012. Okay, so the studies are three years in total? Mm -hmm. Yes. And you studied here in Austria? Yes, here in Innsbruck. Yes. Oh, in Innsbruck, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. nice. Uh, are the studies uh, free or you have to pay? We have to, it, it depends. Okay. Um, I had to pay because I was already 35 when I started speech mm -hmm. therapy. Uh, but if you're under a certain age oh, okay. for students, um, they get um, sort of a benefits not, from, one, okay. from the government, so they don't pay or very, very little. But okay. even though I had to pay, it was not much. So okay. it was then. Her semester was 360 euros. I oh, think. okay. So studying okay. is not very expensive in Austria. Okay, nice. Good to know. But so if you go directly after school, you basically don't pay no. anything. But okay. No. Interesting. But if you uh, worked before and uh, there's different regulations, and I'm sure it has changed since then. Yeah. Um, I think it was as well. There was some exceptions as well. If you had 10 years of work experience, any other job, it, doesn't, it didn't matter. Okay. Then you could have applied as well. But I was just, I think it was about three months. I was. Okay. Do you? But, oh, <laughs> it's fine. Mm -hmm. well, you made it. So yes. That's what counts. Exactly. <laughs> just to get in, so I was happier. Yeah. After finishing your studies, in order to start working, do you need a you need a license, right? No. Well, you can decide if you uh, work somewhere to be a, an employed mm -hmm. or being self-employed. Okay. So that changed twice. When I started studying, I could immediately be self-employed. Okay. And uh, now, uh, then before it was different, then it changed again, and now I think you need, you can't do that. You need to have two years of experience to be employed somewhere okay. as a therapist, and then you can be self-employed. Okay, yeah. so you need, you need a license when you want to do something for yourself, uh, like self-employed, but you also need the, the experience of two years. Yes. Okay, uh, but if you want to work for someone else, you just go there with your degree and exactly that's yes. it okay yes. mm -hmm. so you don't in when you need a license do you need to pay for it no it's very uncomplicated you just um, send the application and uh, all your certificates okay. to government and that's easy basically. Austria I mean there is maybe a small I'm sure there's fee. something to a fee to cover the costs but not much no. okay no. The social system is quite good here. Yes. Austria, everyone. Yes. <laughs> yeah, still good. <laughs> nice. Mm. Do you know if someone else, for example me, that I'm not from Austria, that I've finished speech therapy studies, mm. if I need something more to work here? I know from my experience uh, that I need the language. I need German. Yes at least on the C1 level mm -hmm. this yes and then uh, well it's in each like in, in Austria like Germany or other countries there's the local government mm -hmm. there's nine different laws okay Salzburg Tyrol Vorarlberg Vienna and it's everywhere a bit different mm -hmm. uh, here in Tyrol and it depends on the each institution as well a little bit mm -hmm. Uh, what they think so they check which part of your studies in, in Greece yeah. is compatible with ours and mm -hmm. what you didn't have there you just need to do here mm -hmm. um, as an addition mm -hmm. and um, and plus audiology which is 
probably not a part of speech uh, yeah. pathology in each country, so mm -hmm. that's required. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, because uh, we were saying it before that audiology is not part of all studies in speech therapy. For example, in, in Greece we don't do that much audiology. But for example, in Austria, it's a big part of it. So when you want to get licensed, you need to do extra hours of practice and classes in audiology. Yes. Yeah. Well, basically, the I say the, this is the manager of the institution, or yeah. just the, the head of head the, of yeah. Yeah, the institution would decide. Basically, okay. what you need, and if you've got all the requirements, and he, okay. if he gives it's okay, mm -hmm. that usually it's yeah fine. I yeah. find it a bit unfair, especially with the language. Like I understand that you need a basic level of it, but for example, if there's a a big population of Italians, yes, for example here, mm -hmm. and I come from Italy and I want to practice, but only with Italians, why would I need this high level of German? To do the job that I already know how to do yes, yes. in another language, this is that's a bit tricky. True. Uh, here, it's we would need very urgently Turkish-speaking also. Yes, uh, speech speech um, pathologists, but um, I don't know why there's there's a big population and yeah. there is many Turkish. Uh, children in second or third generation. Mm. Um, why there is not so many studying that? That's a bit of a shame. Yeah. Um, with that, and I'm not sure what the um, study is like in Turkey, but it would be the same with probably English. There's, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's still, I'm sure, big enough English population. Or yeah. English yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, uh, Innsbruck is a kind of a expat city. Mm -hmm. A lot of people from all over Europe or the world. Or yes. Me, myself, one. So. <laughs> yeah. Sure, yes. yeah, I had a few uh, people asking uh, for English, for doing speech pathology in English, especially for um, immigrants mm. just yeah. move here. That uh, initially they wanted it in English, which I totally agree. Yeah. And and then if they stay here for longer, then we would switch to. Gym. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Is uh, do you know if speech therapy is covered by insurance here? Uh, yes. Like fully. Um, there is some speech therapists, but. Just a few. They have a contract with the health insurance company, mm -hmm. a direct contract. There you don't pay anything. Uh, but most of the speech therapists are while therapeutic, like elective okay. therapists. Yeah. Selective, yeah. Um, and there you pay 20% of the fee. 80% okay. pays the. Okay. So I guess company. so I guess the ones who are fewer and they're completely free they have a long waiting list that's usually how it goes with yes, these things yeah. but we all have a long waiting list since mm. corona um, it's um, it doesn't matter where you go yeah <laughs> or it's yeah. really we, we don't have enough speech okay. therapists at the moment yeah. wow and here I am, unable to work, <laughs> unable to help you. <laughs> what a waste. <laughs> what a waste. <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah. So, so mm -hmm. for anyone who's uh, thinking of coming to Austria, start yes. learning German yes, and the need, rest. We need yeah. speech therapists. And the rest we do there. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's, do you know if there's uh, SLPs in schools and um, um, hospitals or in public? Um, lots in hospitals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, where most speech therapists get employed. Okay. Um, in schools, not so much. Sometimes, in some schools there are, where they come there, maybe they are there for one morning or one afternoon. Ah, so yes. hourly, so... Okay. Yes, but yeah. not fully Permanent. employed. Yeah. No. 
it's, it wouldn't. Yeah, it's actually the opposite of a lot of the other countries that I've okay. heard. Yes. That there are not so many in hospitals, mm -hmm. but in school, especially special education schools, there are like speech therapists there working with kids, mm -hmm. and not so much in the hospitals. Yeah. Okay. okay, yeah, no, from South Tyrol. Uh, there are basically no self-employed speech therapists. Okay. They are all... In people public. need to go to a public place, yeah. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Interesting. It, it becomes here a bit more like that as well, so that the, the insurance companies employ more mm -hmm. speech therapists, but not in a that small, it's a, a that small percentage still. Yeah. Okay. Would you say that there's more awareness to the people uh, and also to the rest of the medical staff to send someone to a speech therapist? Because this is not something, like at least in Greece I know that for someone to, like an adult mm -hmm. mostly, to go to a speech therapist is very rare. Like kids, yes. Yeah. But the majority of the people don't even know that we also treat adults. Yeah. Yeah. True. Well, the awareness is definitely increased a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, it's there a lot. Uh, in Tyrol, there's as well, just especially here, that there are speech therapists employed by the government okay. who go and check all kindergarten kids. So they go through all kindergartens and check all kids when they're five, uh, uh, four or five. Okay. And then uh, they tell the the parents Bye. like ah oh, here maybe a little problem better get that checked or here's definitely a problem i would recommend you oh, so to like go a, like a screening from like, the government it's a screening yes exactly nice. yes that's, so that's very nice from mm -hmm. the government mm -hmm. <laughs> but with adults um yes in hospital they have their own speech therapist so mm -hmm. if they have um a trauma or an operation or after stroke or, what, after yeah. stroke or yeah. whatever well the speech therapist would go there mm -hmm. <clears throat> but otherwise i found um maybe in in Vallis countryside it's not that well known because mm. especially i i called a few years ago um a few of the older elderly home mm -hmm. yeah um, institutions yeah. and in, on the countryside I, I, I they didn't know yeah. that speech therapists <laughs> do that and they don't because dysphagia. you probably do this as well when they have dysphagia. swallowing problems yeah yeah, oh, dysphagia, a, yeah? A, yeah that's exactly. where my master was in ah, yeah right yeah, yes so. <laughs> and um so uh, that's why i, I told them well don't you know when people have pneumonia yeah it's maybe one of the things you need to, to look check. at yeah, exactly. to check and so they didn't know so there's still not enough awareness but no. in the city there would be for sure not and especially with this, like even when you say that speech therapists treat dysphagia, like uh, why? You're like speech therapist, I'm like yeah. the name doesn't lead to that, mm -hmm. but it's like it's all the system. Like yes. whatever is here, we do it. So, do you work mostly with kids or with adults? Um, now I'm pretty much specialized in kids. Okay. So you because, have a specialty? Yes. Before, first, when I first got self-employed, I worked uh, in the countryside. I had no kids, so I went there um, three times a week. Mm -hmm. It was 50 kilometers or so. They would do like every everything, basically, nearly, <laughs> because there were no other speech therapists around. Okay. Um, so, I did, yeah, I had adults, kids. Everything. everything but now here i work in uh, like i just hire a room in and in this like is an institution where there's okay. speech therapists occupational therapists so it's like a, yeah like a center where you have all the specialties exactly okay. yes so so we 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 do a bit of things where we think you can't be good at in, in every each, yeah in each category. So no, no, no. well, my colleague does more adults, which have problems with their uh, speech mm -hmm. and fascia or 
with just if they have a good voice or have a hoarse voice. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, like this. Yeah. And I'm sort of more like I've got a lot of preschool kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and uh, now with since Corona, a lot of uh, kids didn't start speaking. I was going to ask you because yes. I was also thinking about: Do you think that all this isolation and mask wearing had an impact on that? Yes, huge impact. Um, little kids who grew up in this time, um, especially. Uh, boys yeah. who tend to not talk that much than girls yeah. they just do they don't yeah, discuss yeah, yeah. things um, From because they age. had to exactly they had to stay at home they didn't see their grandparents they didn't see other yeah. children and at home there is no need to speak a lot because parents know what they want they just need to point what yeah, they want yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, even if, if after after that, when when they could go outside, they saw people on the road with the with masks. The masks. Yeah, they couldn't no, see yeah. uh, the mouth. Yeah. So all that was a big handicap, and uh, so the percentage of the late talkers, onset of yeah. and late talkers, uh, yeah, it's dwindling. Exactly. Yeah. That was interesting. Because they were, it was when I was thinking about it, it was like 50-50. Either they would be fine because they spend more time with the parents, with the family, all together. Mm -hmm. That's which is something you're also missing if the parents are busy or they're working. You yeah. see them for a few hours, and yeah, okay, kindergarten. They don't have so much direct attention. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it would either not really affect it or affect it to a better way. Yes. Or it would be the exact opposite. Yeah. So. Well, it probably was both, but most uh, people had to stay home. They still worked, they had yeah. home office. Yeah. Yeah. And then it depends do they have older siblings? Yeah, also. And if there are more people in one household. I've been holding you. I can't see the end, but we'll see it. If they have home office and it's the only child or I have twins two boy twins and you know they, they understand each other yeah each other yeah you know, they have their own their own language yeah. and if, or they don't talk much you know they just yeah, sit there and start building and <laughs> yeah, yeah that's the thing because the parents and the close family are always the one who understands in a way that whatever the baby is saying but the point is to be understandable also from the other people, from the rest of the people. Exactly, yes. Mm -hmm. So that's where the real speech is coming in. But yeah. Yeah. So yeah. socializing. Mm -hmm. It's not uh, it's not considered important but it is. It is, yes. It is. Yes. Yeah. yeah, big part as well, the grandparents. Yeah, also. Because usually yeah, is when they are the grandparents the parent grandparents, you know, they they just they're more used active. The time, yeah, yeah, yeah. Active and actively play with them and so yeah, they exactly. all gone, yeah. No kindergarten, no crash, yeah. no yeah. parks, no outside. And so what would you say is your favorite thing about being a speech therapist? It's that you are so flexible. You can be a pilot and say for you go out to work and you know don't think of anything anymore. But you can be self important It's fantastic for me. You know, especially when you're older, you don't want the boss who is much younger than you. Um, it's you won't uh, you won't get wealthy but you earn reasonably enough if you yeah. work enough you can earn yeah, a good money. Sure. You can work full time, you can work part time, you can work just a few hours. Mm -hmm. Um, it's so because it covers such a big range with such big different areas where you can work with adults, with kids, you can mix and there's so many different uh, areas if it's with delay, speech delayed kids yeah. or with adults after trauma, Boys, it's nice to work rehabilitation, well. exactly yeah, everything. So it never gets bored, you know. You have, after ten years, I sort of 
now I'm sort of now I'm not in the beginning anymore, but yeah, yeah, I've still got a lot to learn. Mm. You know, it's sort of never always, ending. Yeah. No, especially in medi in the medical field, there's always something new that you yes. need to learn. You always need to keep uh, updated with mm -hmm. everything. So it's like a, to me, I say like the medical field is like a living organism. You need to you need to keep growing and exactly to yes. keep on learning. Yes, it's not like you can use the language the the information you had like from 20 years ago mm. and apply it now. Yeah. Things are changing every year, like, so, yeah, yeah. the norms. Lots of progress, so. Yeah. Yep. Technology making. Yes, no, technology that's uh, during Corona. Is there any unforgettable moment, let's say, for your, from your career so far? Something that really stayed with you? It's not one, it's maybe maybe two where it's often when you've got like a late talkers and, uh, and you work and work and work and all year and there's not much progress and you try this and try this. And, and what they always already uh, told us during our studies as well, it's, it's well, it's very important for them to have breaks mm, yeah. Yeah, yeah and it's twice happened i mean it happened more often that they've made big progress during this break breaks but mm. twice it was that during summer break they came back and they were talking you know whereas oh, they yeah. had maybe seven to ten words before and then they came back talking and that was this it was not that's not a gradual thing and and then suddenly yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like this is so amazing it's yeah. just beautiful yeah i think this with a break it applies in many things like even for myself i saw that when i'm here i'm trying to speak german I, okay I, I can make a proper conversation and then i leave for one or two months on vacation or something and i'm like oh i didn't use german for so long i probably forgot everything and they come back and i speak better mm -hmm. and I'm like okay maybe my brain just needed a break Inter yeah for yeah. settling yeah yeah yeah, maybe, yeah yeah it takes a long time yeah. to <laughs> get well yeah. interesting but as well for understanding the human yeah. brain is so complex yeah in the end also the brain is like a muscle the same yes. as you shouldn't go to the gym every day and mm -hmm. get some rest days i think this is the same with the brain yes yeah. need some time for all the information to, to settle in yeah. exactly yeah. yes to be able to use this information. Yeah. Would you say you have a, like a advice or something to someone who's uh, considering no speech therapy or someone who's studying now? <laughs> Not really, because you can't give advice because most don't know what area you will go to. Don't worry about it. Yeah. That, <laughs> it will come advice. to don't you. Don't worry about it yeah. if you don't know. No, don't worry. And <laughs> like I had the feeling during my studies, well, now I learned uh, anatomy and I learned this and that. But you know, when do I learn how to apply speech therapy? Exactly. You know, I, learned, I will be finished and I can't. I don't know how to do it. I was so nervous in the beginning. So. I was lucky that I didn't need uh, a lot of income, so I could take just a few kids and mm, prepare yeah. properly. But with preparation, you can do it and don't worry, maybe that, maybe don't worry if you don't have much experience. You'll be still good because, slow. because uh, in the beginning you just um, take more preparation and you've got lots of ideas and you compensate with that. And, and uh, such a big part of it is just if you have a good um, relationship with uh, with your client, yeah. it will work. Yeah, so, when you have yes. a connection, yeah, mm -hmm. everything is easier. It, and nothing can happen except if you have got someone with <laughs> um, swallowing problems. Maybe you need to be yeah, yeah. But they're there, and if, when it gets more medical, you need a bit more uh, yeah. to be more careful. But in anything else, but you can never make something worse. No, exactly. Yeah. Just then, and otherwise, I mean, I did that on maybe one or two occasions, 
that I thought, oh, I'm not the right one, and there was no progress after a year, that you need to let go and say, yeah. well, please, you know, even if they have so much trust in you and you think, not as much and I've nothing new to add to it um, to let go and say well please try something different yeah or, or yeah. with someone else like also mm -hmm. have have the awareness yeah. for yourself like for example I know I'm better with adults if someone brings me a child with for example articulation or yeah. semantics that's not my thing you should also be aware of your abilities and be able to say better go to my colleague Mm -hmm. because for better results and it's yeah. not always about the money and everything in the no. end you just want to see your, you want the best for your patients exactly but as i know most of them are like that anyway because if it's not many i think therapists they are so much in money making mm. because otherwise they are more yeah, yeah you don't would, go to the would have for the studied money. they would have studied something else. bitcoin <laughs> oh, yes. no, anything anything else exactly <laughs> you don't go in yeah. speech therapy for the no, money no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly okay thank you very much sabina yes thank you <laughs> thank you thank you and from lovely innsbruck uh, in austria see you next time who knows where thank you Bye-bye.